What is going on guys? Gray here today. We got all kind of information about the new Red Dead Online update, Blood Money, which will be coming out next week, July the 13th. This one, I was not really sure what to expect. Um, there is a new trailer, a new a newswire that will be linked down in the description if you'd like to read over the newswire or watch the trailer. And I was not really sure what to expect because honestly, we have not been getting a lot of good updates in Red Dead Online for a while. But this one kind of surprised me and I am kind of looking forward to this update because we're going to be getting robberies in game. And that's one thing everybody has been asking for for a really long time. Let's go ahead and hop right into this newswire, kind of give you guys some details about what's going on. It says step into the criminal underworld in blood money. Prove yourself that you're kind of willing to gear, uh, get your hands dirty in the services of some particularly notorious and well-connected members of the San Denis Society. Uh, this particular individual that you're going to be looking or kind of working for is looking for you to recover a valuable commodity known as Capital, which is originally uh, a unique system of exchanging a more sensitive business dealings with kind of uh, other criminals kind of away from the watchful eye of the tax man. It has since ended up in the hands of near, nearly every low life across the five states. Uh, now, of course, the person you're working for is going to want it back. So you're going to be doing different kind of criminal things uh, to get this particular uh, currency or this particular new thing they've added in, the capital, back to the guy that you're working for, the new owner of or the owner of this new kind of criminal underworld. Uh, it says you don't need any kind of upfront investment to get into this. All you need is a sidearm and be willing to use it. So no gold bars required to start this, which is a good thing. Uh, I know a lot of people kind of didn't like the rolls because they were a bit expensive. So luckily this does not have to have any kind of gold bars to start it. Uh, there are going to be some different things you can do for this. this is, you're going to embark on crimes either as a lone gunman or a full posse, however you want to do it. During each outing, keep a keen eye and wit. Search high and low for signs of capital to return it, including from hidden chest, uh, hidden chest or even remains of those that you have killed. As you traverse the plains and free roam, you may hear of unlocked homesteads or vulnerable camps that are ripe for the picking, so you can go rob those as well. Uh, these crimes are going to be different things like multi-stage coach robberies, uh, cloak and dagger holdups, including kidnapping, it says brutal debt collections, and much more. Accumulate enough capital and you will get a, a new opportunity revealed to you. These are dispatched in a scheme to stifle a rising Lemo uh, Lemoyne senator who is uh, disrupting the operations throughout the region. Each opportunity can reveal various approaches to the task at hand. Uh, listen into nearby conversations or look out for important targets to uncover new paths to completing and weakening the politician's uh, position by bringing each of these three jewels of the West uh, back to its kind of, you know, underworld owner. The first three of the opportunities is available on July the 13th, while the other two will be un uh, kind of unveiled in time. So it kind of seems like they've combined the idea of, you know, holdups and, and robberies and you know some of the heists and things you have in gta some of the things we already had available here in red dead online and kind of put these things all together uh, even kind of with the bounty idea kind of in, involved in kind of how it seems to me and we're going to be able to do different types of robberies to collect this capital and then get some different opportunities if we when we collect enough i kind of hate that they're only doing one to begin with and the other two are going to be coming out later on so it means they're going to stretch this out i think over the next several months probably to the end of the year but if there's enough content here, I think a lot of players are going to be really happy. I think a lot of players will probably come back to the game just to participate in this because this is something, like I said, kind of at the start, we've all been waiting for for a really long time. A lot of people have been wanting, you know, the ability to have robberies and things in game. Also, they're going to have something new that's kind of a new style battle pass, which is going to be called the Quick Draw Club. The Quick Draw Club is a series of four distinct rapid fire passes arriving in consecutive installments over the next coming months. Purchase each membership entitles you to rewards, bonuses, and items to help you live life on the fringe as a kind of or the fringe of the law. Starting with Dutch's outfit, the Red Cliff, with each consecutive pass you purchase, you earn additional perks and rewards for continuing your journey. Each pass will cost 25 gold bars. They will go to rank 25, and you can earn all 25 gold bars back, of course, within the pass. As an added bonus, players who purchase all four passes will receive the upcoming Halloween 2 pass for free. Also, some other things they talked about was they're going to bring back some of the clothing items uh, and some other things that you may not have gotten from Outlaw Pass number two and number three. Is if some of these items that you did not get, you know, if you weren't playing then or you didn't get to complete it, these will also be brought back to the game uh, and you'll be able to purchase these as well. Uh, some, you know, costumes and things like from the Bandolier Gang and all that kind of stuff. So those will be brought back kind of during this time also. It says, as part of the July 13th update, if you are a PC player, 
Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online on PC will offer NVIDIA DLSS support to all Windows users who have a NVIDIA GeForce RTX graphic card. Uh, this is going to boost frame rate and generate beautiful sharp images. Of course, it says stay kind of tuned for more details on next week's update. They may give out some more information this week before you know the update releases next week. If they do, I will make sure I make another video for that. But leave me a comment and let me know. Are you guys excited to hear about this new kind of robbery kind of idea they brought into the game? It seems like it may be some type of heist or, or some kind of big scheme against this senator kind of at the end with all these different opportunities you're going to get. So not only are we going to get smaller individual robberies, we're also going to get a kind of opportunity to do something kind of at the end and get rewarded very well for it, hopefully. So leave me a comment with your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think about Red Dead Online Blood Money. Will this bring you back into playing the game if you haven't been playing in a while? Does it kind of pique your interest? Were you like me and kind of surprised to see this? Because I wasn't really sure what this update was going to be. I wasn't really holding my breath or getting really excited for it or anything because I wasn't expecting a lot. And this, in my opinion, sounds a lot better uh, than what I was thinking it was going to be. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you hadn't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.